Hello friends, this video on evolution part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we are talking about changes, we are talking about evolution, we are talking about uh, the generation, the, gen the changes which take place over multiple generations, it becomes very important to talk about speciation. So what do we mean by speciation? As you saw that changes can be so much that it can give rise to a new species and that process is known as speciation. So speciation is nothing but origin of new species from an existing species is called speciation. And whenever speciation takes place as a result of evolution, that type of evolution is called macro evolution. That is what we discussed, right? If the species itself is a new species, that means macro evolution has taken place. That is evolution has taken place on a larger scale. So evolution leads to speciation, small, small changes happen and then over a long period of time, new organisms develop. So the best example to discuss here would be the Darwin's finches. So there also we saw that we started with just one species of finches which migrated to the uh, island and then from that one species you currently have around 13 to 15 species of the finches. So it all happened due to evolution. Or if you look at the other animals like so if you see another example where you see today we get to see so many different varieties of dogs right so this is also a result of evolution so in fact the dogs originally they came from the gray wolves so now what happened was it even humans played a role there so many humans artificially uh, did selected them so artificial breeding took place there where they selected wolves with desirable traits and only kept the puppies with the most desirable trait so as a result many different varieties of dogs were formed for example some were big in size some were very small some were brainy some were furry so many different varieties of dogs were formed so this is again called speciation because all these dogs they all do not belong to the same species they all belong to different species so we can say that evolution leads to speciation of course because small small changes over a long period of time they get accumulated and the changes become so much that the organism altogether become a different organism so it belongs to a different species altogether now the question is how speciation occurs so let us again take an example here. So we will take the same example of Whittles again. So let us suppose this is a locality where you have, this is one locality which, is, which we will denote as locality 1 and this is another locality denoted as locality 2. So these are two different localities. So in locality 1 you have a lot of crows whereas in locality 2 you do not have much crows. So what does that mean? That means locality 1 has more predators so it is little less safe than for the beetles whereas locality 2 is more safe because there are no predators so nobody to feed on the beetle. So now what happened was that in locality 1 most of the red beetles were being eaten up by the crows because they were easily visible to the crows. So they were all being eaten up so the population of the red beetles were very less. So in locality 1 large population of the crows and large population of the green beetles because green beetles were comparatively safer. In locality 2 what happened there were no crows therefore there were more red beetles because there was no there were nobody to even eat the red beetles so they also had a bigger population here so this was the scenario now if you look at the two localities you would see that green beetles are encouraged in locality 1 much more than locality 2. Why? Because of the concept of natural selection. Because in locality 1 green color of the beetle is a survival advantage but in locality 2 there is nothing like that because even the red beetles they are also surviving in a nice way. So there is no comparison between red and green beetles here because the, both of them are equal as such. But in locality 1 the green beetles have a survival advantage over the red beetles and that is why the green beetles are being supported by nature and the population of green beetles is increasing in locality 1.
Now we assume that locality 1 and locality 2 they remain isolated from each other. So they are separated from each other. So it is not possible that the locality of this beetle will uh, breed with a, a beetle of this locality. So right now we assume that these two locations are isolated from each other. So not much breeding happens between locality 1 and locality 2. But as a result of the various mechanisms of evolution like mutation or migration or genetic drift or natural selection, small evolution keep occurring in each of these localities. Right? Mutations can happen in any of these localities even though they both do not breed amongst themselves. Inside locality 1 there are so many beetles so they will undergo reproduction, mutations can happen, genetic drift can take place, natural selection can happen. So some small small changes will keep happening in both locality 1 as well as locality 2. Now after a long time it is seen that these small small changes in both localities 1 and 2 brought about some changes in the beetles of each of the localities. So after a long time those small small changes became so much that it was found that the beetles of the two localities they are not even capable of reproducing with each other. So the beetle of locality 2 and the beetle of locality 1. So this is the beetle of locality 1, this is the beetle of locality 2. They both belong to two different species altogether. They no more belong to the same species of beetles. Now how did this speciation happen? So this is an example of speciation where a new species is formed. How it happened? Over a period of time by accumulation of small changes. Maybe sometimes due to some mutation it would have happened that the color of the spots changed. Again over a period of time with some uh, genetic drift or natural selection maybe the color changed or some accidental issues might have happened. So due to many factors some small changes can take place and over a long period of time those changes can actually result in a different organism altogether. So now even if you keep these two locations nearby but this beetle and this beetle they cannot interbreed. So this is how speciation occurs. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.